Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over my top stock picks for January 3rd through the 7th. Before we do, just to reiterate, not a financial advisor, make sure that you do your own research before investing. Also, if you find value in today's video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, and hit that notification bell. That way, YouTube can let you know every time we release new content. Other than that, guys, let's dive right on into it. Right, guys so before getting into my picks for this week we're going to talk about a recap of last week so i picked uvxy which was uh, not much of anything kind of a dud pick uh, i thought that the market would pull back and this would spike up and it may have had a little tiny spike but nothing you know too dramatic um it is something to keep an eye on as the market starts to push forward <clears throat> uh, whenever it gets overvalued uh, the market in general that uh, uvxy is going to be undervalued and then you know, when the market pulls back uvxy spikes up and then eventually you know just eventually just kind of spikes back down because it decays over time constantly right uh tesla was actually down a little over one percent and we're going to talk about that one here in a minute because uh, this thing is already moving pre-market and it's on the stock pick for the week so we'll talk a little bit as to why and where i see this thing going and what my plans are moving forward and iqst guys had a massive move up over 43 percent for the week and uh, that thing has it just started moving like crazy and i think that it's going to continue to move into 2022 however i do think that it's going to pull back eventually especially if you take a look at the charts uh, it basically just went straight up right from about like 50 cents all the way to a dollar five and anytime that happens we do have some type of pullback so you want to see exactly where it settles uh, before you know if you're going to uh, either add to your position or if you're going to start your position right so um, i didn't take profits on it i could have because i was up a decent amount but i'm in it more for the longer term so i'm actually just waiting for the pullback to add more i don't know exactly where that's going to be at but we'll have to just kind of wait it out and see what happens all right guys so my picks for january 3rd through the 7th is tesla ticker symbol tsla clean energy fuels ticker symbol clne and the Zion Oil and Gas symbols Z N O Z Tesla uh, beat expectations of their deliveries for Q4 um, for 2021. So that's gonna make this thing start moving and going nuts. Which we're gonna look at the charts here in a second and show you. Uh, CLNE, in my opinion, is kind of uh, setting up for a decent spike up to the upside. It got beat down pretty hard and and keeps kind of finding some support basically around where it's at right now. So it's something to maybe consider um, if you're going to look to add to your position or start your position down where it's at now. And Zion All and Gas is, I'm not saying this is going to start making it move and, you know, hit a dollar or anything. But the setup that we have right now has potential to, uh, you know, propel it back into the 20s. If, especially if we get any type of news. But if we're looking at the technicals, it's looking, you know, pretty decent for at least a little scalper swing play. Okay, we're going to take a look at that. And then watch list sizes DraftKings and Genog. As you know, Genog has gotten bought out by DraftKings, so it's basically a part of DraftKings at this point. Anything that DraftKings does, whatever the share price is, uh, Genog is 0.365 of that price. So, for example, if DraftKings, uh, the price was, you know, $10 a share, then uh, Golden Nugget is going to be $3.65. Per share so it's basically going to follow DraftKings so either which whichever way that you you go about it you're going to basically be owning a part of DraftKings and Golden Nugget but Golden Nugget is going to basically roll over into DraftKings once the merger finally happens uh, but these things have been beaten down like crazy okay and uh, I really think that um, they're going to make a decent recovery I don't know when they're going to start moving but I can tell you that in my opinion these here for the longer term is is a pretty good solid double up play in my opinion okay so that's my picks for the week guys let's take a look at the charts and let's see what they're telling us all right guys so looking at tesla tsla and this thing bounced off of that sma line and man a huge move early this morning guys so we were at 1048 and now we're already at over 1100 dollars for the day uh, or close to overvalued but i really don't think that matters in my opinion i think that you got a green candle a huge confirmation candle so I think that we're going to come back up and we're going to retest that 1250 level here and kind of see what happens. Your support's 1083, resistance of 1250. So I'll have to just kind of wait it out and see what happens. But if I were to get in here 
um, I would I would expect maybe you know take some profits around the 1250 level if you have multiple shares maybe buy and sell a couple shares off and then you know let the rest ride but this thing's gonna start in my opinion start moving it did just cross over from uh, bearish to bullish on the uh, on the MACD indicator okay so that is a sign that we should push a little bit higher at least to you know 1200 1250 something like that okay so that's the first pick for the week next up is CLNE we're going to take a look at <clears throat> and as you see here uh, we hit the bottom once twice three times <laughs> four times five times and it looks like we're flirting with it again at about six bucks so we keep finding some support at six dollars which I think is a good sign uh, we're not undervalued but we're pretty close to it. if we come back down to six dollars we're going to be undervalued and it should propel us up if they release any type of news um you know regarding the i know the infrastructure deal or something like that anything about clean energy then this thing should start moving again as you see here it got all the way as high as 1635 last year uh, and then just has been gradually kind of sinking down ever since but i think hopefully this may be the bottom here uh, because this is a, a really for the longer term a really good company and i'm um, just thinking that you know maybe it's found its bottom it'll shoot its way back and try to test that eight dollar mark and just kind of see where we go from there so gina i'm sorry xenog <laughs> is the last one right so um we had you know a high for the last you know i guess several months we were making higher highs higher highs we got as high as about 35 cents and then we've been kind of getting beat down and we did cross underneath that red SMA line. But the good thing is right underneath the red SMA line, we were pretty close to undervalued and we popped up, right? So we got as high as 21 cents, which doesn't seem like a big deal. But if we can get some buying pressure and some volume up and we get above, you know, 21, 22 cents and hold there, that's a good sign. So uh, you want to watch this candle here on the open. Is it going to start filling up? Okay, are we going to make a new candle or are we going to have a sell signal and start pushing back down? All right either which way we're pretty close to undervalued so if it goes down to undervalued this macd indicator will get a little bit wider and then you can buy there and then as the the buying pressure comes back in you can sell but if we start getting some buying pressure and a buy signal then this macd indicator should cross that means we're crossing over from uh, bearish to bullish and should push up a little bit higher and then we want to for sure kind of keep an eye on if we're going to get any type of news from xenog regarding testing okay and we'll take a look just for fun at DraftKings. And DraftKings, I'll need to go ahead and redraw the FIB level on this here. So we have a low of 2580. We'll just call it 2582, close enough. And 6458. This is for the 180 day four hour. As you see here, we're pretty much, guys, at the bottom. Um, you know, we're pretty much at the bottom here. For DraftKings as well, right? And this thing could easily, in my opinion, get back to about 50, 55 bucks sometime in 2022. I don't know when, but if you look here, it just fell like completely down. It's like a big ski slope. So if we can find some support here in the $25 level, that's where I'd accumulate and just wait for it because it should pop back. Alright guys, that's all we got for you in this video. Let me know your comments and thoughts below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next